What's up y'all, Alvin here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a hand-tied leader. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> All right, so I have made an entire video on leaders, just kind of some of the details about them, what all the different parts mean, uh, and I'll link that right up there. You can go watch that. It's pretty detailed, pretty long video. Today is gonna be short and easy. This is kind of <laughs> part of my guide fly fishing series. Uh, I got a whole series of videos on how to tie some guide flies. I'll link that up there. Uh, and this particular hand tied leader sort of falls into that same vein. Super simple, super easy. So first off, you need to know how to tie three knots, the perfection loop, the blood knot, and a surgeon's knot. You could use a surgeon's instead of the blood knot, but for the thicker materials, the blood knot is gonna make a little bit smoother connection. You could use the blood knot instead of the surgeon's knot to put your tippet on, but a lot of times that's unnecessary with the smaller tippet material. So here's everything I use to tie my leaders with. Uh, I've got 50 pound, 60 pound, 40 pound, 35, 25 pound, and then I've got several spools of smaller tip of material, 20, 16, and 12. And that's really about all I use for bass leaders and saltwater leaders, which is what I do most of the time. Now, if you were tying these leaders to trout fish, you would probably want to go with some lighter tippet material and maybe start off with a smaller diameter butt section. But for say like six through nine weight, this is what I would do. All right, let's start off with, um, depending on the diameter of the fly line, uh, somewhere between 60 and 40 pound for my butt section. Uh, since I got the 60 pound here, I'm just gonna start with that. Um, I've got this nice uh, measuring tape here on the table, but if I'm out on the water, I just sort of eyeball this. <laughs> but I'm gonna go with about a three foot section for the butt of my leader. Uh, I'm gonna get myself a little bit more than three feet to start with, and I'll show you why in a second here. Okay, we're gonna clip it off and that's my butt section. So about three feet of 60 pound test. First thing I'm gonna do is put my perfection loop in one end. That's the end that's going to attach to my fly line. Now, there's a lot of great videos out there on how to tie all these knots, the perfection loop, Another thing I forgot, you will need something to help snug some of these knots down. So this is a pretty cool little pin that Gerber makes and it's got that little tip there. I just stick that in there and use that to tighten down my perfection knot. Perfection loop, excuse me. All right, I do like to clip them pretty close. So I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so we got our butt section. Now the next thing um, is going to be our midsection or our taper. Now for these leaders, I'm just gonna put one section to taper it. If you want it to get something that's a little bit more stealthy, maybe a little bit smoother presentation, you might go from your butt section and then do two sections to taper that leader down. But this is a pretty rough and tough, pretty crude leader that I'm gonna use for bass and redfish. And if I did wanna make it a little bit more stealthy, I'll show you what to do with that at the very end. So I'm gonna jump down from my 60 pound to my 40 pound. And I'm gonna get about the same length a little bit more than three feet. Clip that off. 
and that's gonna be my taper. Now this is where I'm gonna use a blood knot. So once again, there's tons of videos out there that'll show you how to tie a blood knot. I'm not gonna go through that right now, but basically one, two, three, four turns on this side. And then we'll go ahead and do four turns on this side. And come back through the middle. Good thing I got my glasses on right now. <laughs> and that is our uh, blood knot for the butt section to the midsection. Gonna get it wet. Don't ever wanna tighten these up without wetting them first. Wanna avoid that friction. And there we go. Always give it a nice tug to make sure you got that thing tied correctly. And we'll go ahead and clip it off nice and close. All right, we're getting close. So now we got about six feet of leader here. And then I'm gonna go ahead, oh, gotta clip off both sides of that tag. All right. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my tippet. So I'm gonna go down to 20 pound test for the tippet. And I'm gonna put about two feet of 20 pound. So that's gonna be my tippet, it's about two feet long. For this, I'm gonna just use surgeon's knot. And the reason being is that in this thinner diameter material, it's not as big of a deal to use a surgeon's knot uh, in the thicker material, if you use a surgeon's knot, always wet it, snug it. If you use a surgeon's knot in the thicker material, you end up with the little kink where the two come together. It's not as noticeable in this lighter material, so it's not that big of a deal. Go ahead and clip it. And I'm gonna call that done. So I got about an eight foot leader. Um, like I said earlier, if you wanted to make this a little stealthier, there's a couple things you could do. Um, number one, you could put in another tapered section in here. So you could go maybe 60, 50, 30, and then tie your tippet on. The other thing you can do is just make the tippet longer. So. Um, if I'm throwing at redfish and they're pretty spooky um, or I'm using a little bit heavier fly and I don't want it to splash as much, what I'll do is either make this two foot tippet section four feet long or I can also tie on a couple of feet of some smaller diameter tippets. So that's why I always carry around the smaller stuff. So I've got uh, 20, 16 and 12 here. Um, if I was freshwater fishing, I may even have, you know, some 2X and 3X. That's pretty much all there is to it. You know, once again, quick and easy, down and dirty, fish catching, guide leaders. <laughs> like I said, uh, if you need some more detailed information about leaders specifically, check out that video I did about leaders. Once again, I wanna thank you guys for watching these videos. I really enjoy making them, but it's way more fun to know that somebody's out there watching them. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, that really does help me out. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.